Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are reacting to another Darman video. The title of this video is Girl Catches Guy Cheat on 4K Camera. What happens next is shocking. I think Darman wanted to do something related to a beam, but not fully because he teaches life lessons. So, but just something in the title maybe I don't know. It's just fun. You know, just 4K high resolution, 82 to what 40 pixels. Oh, uh, but high quality. Yeah, just yeah, this six something. There's like a meme like that. But yeah, whatever. Let's begin. So David. I heard you've not just been crushing it on court, but off court too. How did you go from being on academic probation to getting a 4.0 GPA? Well, so you see, it's, it's like 40% dedication, 30% hard work, and 40% pers perspiration. You mean persistence? And I don't think those numbers add to 100. Oh. Just add more to hard work. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is that it's more... Never mind. Uh, so, the question everyone's been dying to know, have you picked a college yet? Uh... I'm not sure, but my parents, they want me to go to Kansas State. You know, they, they're working really hard. Hey, David, David, come on, come on. Sorry, I gotta go. Uh, no, I wasn't done asking. Great. Let me guess. He ran off before you could finish asking all your questions. Could have guessed it. He does that with every interview. Uh, sorry, I don't think I saw you on the court. I'm Dada, you're... Anthony. And yeah, I haven't been playing much since he got back. After he started magically getting A's in all of his classes, now that he's not on academic probation, I'm back to being sixth man. Wait, are you saying there's been some sort of foul play going on? You didn't hear anything from me. Ooh. Okay, listen. All I need from you are game scores and a quote from our star player. Not this. Now rewrite it, Tata. I'm not running it. But don't you think it's a little weird that David has an A in math but can't even add a basic percentages? Everybody knows he's being tutored by Neil Patel, the smartest kid in school. I mean, some of his brains are bound to rub off on him. Wait, Neil's tutoring him? I didn't know that. I think you just gave me another lead. Stop, you're, you're a high school student, not an investigative journalist. Our readers care about winning championships, not his grades. But I care about the truth, Brandon. I'm gonna take you off of sports. I should never have put a girl on this beat. It was my fault. I'll just have Max or Connor cover the last two games. What? No, you can't do that. Excellent work on the last issue, Brandon. And the picture looks great, too. Thanks, Principal Martinez. We are one game away from championships. Can you imagine if we're the school to take the trophy away from Kennedy High? They've been dominating the league for almost a decade. Well, with David back on the team, we stand a pretty good chance, I think. Yes! He's amazing! Anyway, I just came by to tell you that if you want to do another interview with me or you want to take a photo, don't hesitate to ask. Excuse me, uh, Principal Martinez, sorry. I found this old photo of you holding a basketball with your brother. I thought it'd be cool if instead of doing a new photo shoot for the next paper, we could use this instead. No, absolutely not. My brother and I, we don't have a good relationship. We haven't gotten along since we were kids. I always thought it was so much better than me. Plus, I don't want to use any old photos. I, I just want to take new ones. That's, it's totally fine. We'll, uh, we'll reach out when we're available. Thanks. Oh, and by the way, nice touch putting Dada in charge of sports. It makes us look very progressive. What was that about giving my assignment to someone else? Okay, you can cover the games, but stick to the assignment. We're students, not- TMZ, I get it. I'll stick to the score. Okay. I used this book I found called Dictionary. Yeah, it has all, like, all these different words and definitions. It what? Just... He doesn't know what the dictionary Brevity is? the soul of wit. I love that. <laughs> Thanks, I came up with it myself. <laughs> well, that's a direct quote from Shakespeare. I am joking. I meant to say I love that quote from Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> well, 
it's from Hamlet. Hamlet? <laughs> you know, I meant, I meant that. I am anyway, joking yeah, about what he's just saying. Yeah. gotta be the answer keys and look at what david gave back to her most likely a bribe i think i cracked this case i wouldn't guess miss fitzgerald would be in on this how do you know their answer keys for sure well if a teacher isn't helping him then how else is he doing it to be honest i kind of suspected neil was somehow involved i thought so too but he would never risk his chances of becoming valedictorian and plus he has no real motive miss fitzgerald on the other hand has some unpaid tickets Really? How do you know all this? I'm a reporter. This is what I do. Fine. She complains about them every morning during first period. Got it. If it is her, I doubt she's acting alone. There's got to be someone involved with some sort of higher authority. I'll be right back. Everything's going just as we planned. Yeah. You, uh, think anyone's getting suspicious? Uh, I don't think so. But, to be honest, it's getting pretty hard to keep this a secret. Yeah, well, we don't have much of a choice. If anyone was to find out about this, I... It'd be really bad. I know. We just gotta keep it going. Just a little bit longer. We're almost there. Championship's right around the corner. I just hope it doesn't all blow up in our face before then. Oh my god, you should not do this. This is wrong. If anyone was to find out about this, I'd... it'd be really bad. I know. And not only that, but I have photos too. See, Miss Fitzgerald made a trade with David. I think she has some sort of arrangement with Coach Rooney to trade test answers for money. They're both in on it together. Principal Martinez? I'm sorry, Dada. Look, I understand your concern, but this isn't really evidence. They could be talking about anything. That's why I texted them both to come into my office right now. You texted them? Wow, okay, um... Are you sure you want me here for this? If what you're saying is true, then you have nothing to worry about. Is everything okay? Yeah, I think so. Come on in. <sighs> and uh, close the door. Dada has brought to my attention that you two may be keeping a secret. Uh, uh-huh. A secret? Yes. It seems that she believes that you two have something to do with David's sudden academic success. Oh. The basketball player? Well, I haven't done anything differently. He has gotten better on his own. It's quite amazing, actually. Uh, I believe Neil Patel has been tutoring him, but that's all I know. I've well, Dada seems to believe that David handed you cash for test answers. Cash? No, not at all. David has never given me any cash. Then what was in the envelope? Oh no, look away, look away, look away, don't tell me. Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Well, if you must know, I've gotten a couple of tickets for my broken taillight. And David has been helping you pay for them. No. His uncle is a cop. 
So I simply asked him to get the tickets signed off because I got my car fixed. I see. I don't see anything wrong with that. But he wouldn't do that unless you were doing something for him. I saw the manila envelope. I know you gave him test answers. You mean the same envelope I gave to all of my students? They're permission slips for our senior trip. Since you're here, you might as well take yours. No, but she could have switched this out. Sorry, but what am I doing here for this? I'm just a basketball coach. <laughs> it seems Dada overheard a little conversation you two had earlier today. Something about it being really bad if anyone were to find out about a secret you two were keeping. She did what? I heard everything. And I also have it all on tape. See? This is what I was afraid of. So, do you two have something to do with David's grades improving? You should just be honest, because the truth always comes out in the end. No, no, Principal Martinez, that's not it at all. Miss Fitzgerald and I, well, you see, we've been, we've been dating. Dating, dating, yes. We've been keeping it a secret because we thought that we might get fired. She wanted to tell you earlier. I wanted to wait until after the championship, you know, if we made it that far. Just didn't want to mess anything up. Nice try. You know it's clever to come with the backstory. Okay. We just celebrated our six month anniversary, actually. We went to Boca, Raton. And it was a so romantic. It was. That seems like a lot of trouble to go through for a backstory. Do you have anything you want to say to them? I'm sorry for spying on you guys and making false accusations. I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, more importantly, are we in trouble for, you know? I'm disappointed. Disappointed that you two didn't tell me any sooner. That's oh. adorable. <laughs> of course there's nothing wrong with it. Look, you two can come out as a couple whenever you're ready. Oh, oh that means so much to us. It feels like a big burden is off our shoulders. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. you. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm not sure if you heard, but Kennedy won their game yesterday. Not that that's news or anything, but... So if we win tomorrow, that's who we'll meet in the finals. And we've never beaten that team. I know. It's all right. That's no That'll just make winning the trophy that much sweeter. I like that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you again. Appreciate it. <laughs> well, are you satisfied? Not quite. It still doesn't explain how David's grades got better all of a sudden. Maybe because he's been working hard? Look, Dada, you really should be more focused on the game instead of interfering with people's personal lives. Now, do I need to get Brandon to get another reporter on No, the no, that's, that's fine. I'm so sorry again, Principal Martinez. But, um, do you mind if I take this? I haven't had a chance to read the article yet. Thank you. want him to go to Kansas State? Well, after that shot, he's going to get a full ride in no time. Yeah. Hey, is that the principal of Kennedy High? Uh, yeah. Jeez. Principal Martinez takes competition really seriously. Yeah. He didn't even shake his hand. Oh, there goes Neil Patea. Wait, is David's dad? No. Does this mean that Neil is... David's dad's bribing him. It was Neil all along. Oh my god, I knew I should have gone with my first instinct. He's not going to get away with this. What are you going to do?
Are you dumb? They just said Neil was tutoring him. Not they're not driving it. They are paying. What I do best? Paycheck. Confront him. I saw his parents give you money. So that's for my services. It was hundreds of dollars, Neil. You think I would waste my time tutoring for minimum wage? My time's expensive. Look, I don't know how David's getting good grades. To be honest, he barely even pays attention during our sessions together. But I get paid to show up, so I keep doing it. First, I thought it was you. Then Miss Fitzgerald, and now I don't even if know- If he is cheating, there's no way a teacher's helping him. Why do you say that? Think about it. David has a 4.0. If it was a teacher, that could only help him get an A in one class. Not every class. Okay, that's a good point. I should have thought of that. Yeah, true. But uh, this is all so confusing. All right, that's it. You're wasting too much time with this. You should be in the gym covering the championship game, but you're here. I told you before, if you can't focus, then I'm going to reassign you. Oh, reass my gosh. No. <gasps> I just figured it out. I'm sorry, but I got to go. All right, boys. This is it. Our day is here, huh? Huh? Our chance to go out there and win that championship and bring that trophy back to our school. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. And just stick it to Kennedy High. Uh, yes. Thank you, Principal Martinez. <laughs> All right, you know what got you here. Hands in, hands in. I need everybody's best. Communicate on defense. Now let's go out there and handle business when it needs to be handled. Right? Not so fast. I have something you have to know about. <sighs> Tara, whatever it is, I'm sure it can wait until after the game. No, it can't because it involves foul play. I figured out who's helping David cheat. Not now, Tara. The game's about to start. Look, if you're going to accuse Coach Rooney It's again... not Coach Rooney. It's you. What? Oh, that's good. Real good. Your theories just keep getting better and better. Now, if you don't mind, see her out. If there's no truth to what she's saying, then it shouldn't matter anyway. I just text the security, so you've got about a minute to explain this little wild theory of yours before you get kicked out of here. And banned from ever coming to another school game. Okay. So, at first, I thought it could be a student or a teacher. But then I realized it has to be someone who has access to all the classes. And... Who has that other than the principal? If David is cheating, and that's a huge if, why on earth would I help him? Uh, to make yourself look good by winning the championship and to get revenge on Kennedy High? Yeah, I don't want their team to win, but to say I'm that not I'm talking about the team. Oh, look away, look away, look away again. Sorry, sorry, just look away. Look away, look away, don't kill. I looked at the pictures and they seemed familiar. The principal of Kennedy High is your brother. And you told us yourself how much you don't like him. You just can't stand to see him win, can you? And you didn't even shake his hand at the last game. That's right, which is why you're helping David cheat, so you can get revenge against your brother. <laughs> I've heard some really outlandish things in my life. But this one takes the cake. Even if what you're saying is true, you have no proof that I helped David cheat. I'd never jeopardize. I told you this was a bad idea. <laughs> I knew they were going to find me. Please. What do you but I, I just don't want to get in trouble. All I wanted to do was play basketball. And when Principal Martinez offered me the answer keys, I tried to tell him. David, stop no. talking. They deserve to know. I'm serious. Or else. Let's go. You're coming with us. Hold on, guys. Don't take her. Take him. Are you serious? Wait, no. No, I'm the principal. You can't do this. No. Let me go! Let me go! No one will ever believe you, Donna! Oh, yes, they will. And you should know, Principal Martinez, the truth will always come out in the end. I'm sorry I let you guys down. I really am. Wow. I can't believe that just happened. Yeah. 
Thanks, daughter. I owe you an apology. Sorry for not believing you earlier. But now I have no idea what I'm going to do. We just lost our star player. Well, I think there's someone else who's ready to play. <laughs> you did it. You really did it. Last time I checked, you're the one who did it. <laughs> Amazing win last night. We make a pretty good team. Well, I gotta hand it to you. This article is incredible. And TMZ picked it up? Maybe you are a real investigative journalist. Thanks. So, Tata, what are you gonna do now? I don't know. Huh. <laughs> I guess I'll be on to my next story. Oh, cool. What's up, Gordo? Nice, that was a cool one. I've never seen someone being framed. But this one, 4K camera is kind of not real, but who cares. But yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you guys for watching that video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, share the video. Thank you guys for watching and bye.